Hello dear students, welcome to my channel The Indian Economy by Gaurav Bunsal and today we are going to discuss the most requested topic REER and NEER. Ever since I have started taking some of the conceptual videos on my YouTube channel, this is consistently the most requested topic. Last year also I covered it in the exchange rate. This year there has been so many requests from so many students to cover REER and NEER. Now let us see this topic. So essentially what REER and NEER mean is real or nominal effective exchange rate. So I will do two videos on it. Today I am just going to explain the concept in very short. In the next video I will do it on a digital board and there I will also do some question answer practice. We will solve some MCQ and we will go more into the analysis part. For the conceptual part let us start. Now when we say the exchange rate, the word exchange rate by default means that it is both nominal and it is bilateral. The way we use real exchange rate in day to day transactions, in day to day usage is always nominal as well as bilateral. So when we say the dollar is now almost 82 rupees, 83 rupees that is nominal value of the rupee and that is also bilateral value against the dollar that bilateral means between two currencies. So whenever we have to make payment, we have to make payment to some person in some country or to some organization in some country and we have to make that payment in their local currency. We do not have to make payment in multiple currencies. So we always use bilateral exchange rate. For example, against Euro, we would be having bilateral exchange rate of 85 rupee per Euro, let us say. And against Pound, maybe close to 95 or 98 rupees per Pound. Okay, so something like that. Now, all of that is nominal as well as bilateral. However, for research purposes, analysis purposes, we have multiple concepts and in those we study real exchange rate and we also study the effective exchange rate. So when we talk about real exchange rate, the idea is basically to understand the purchasing power. When we say real exchange rate means we are not only talking about how much we can get against rupee in terms of dollar but we are essentially talking about what we can get in terms of the products. If I give products worth 100 rupees let us say what can I can what I can get in exchange okay. So product to product exchange essentially we are looking at since product to product exchange does not happen all directly. We always involve currency in it. In real life, it is not possible. In real life, we always have nominal exchange rate. But at least for research purposes, at least for analysis purposes, we can use real exchange rate. Let me give, help, uh, give it to you with the help of an example. Now, let us say we have banana in India. Banana price in India is about 80 rupees per dozen. Okay, One dozen banana for 80 rupees. Whereas in USA, the price of one dozen banana is close to three dollars or maybe four dollars. That depends upon state to state, area to area. So three to four dollars is the price of bananas in USA. So in India, the banana have a different price. In USA, banana have a different price. And that is what creates the difference. If the prices have same rupee and dollar value in different currencies, then the real exchange rate would not exist. It would be same as the nominal exchange rate. For example, in India, the price of banana is 80 rupees. In USA, it is $1. Then your nominal real exchange rate would be same because both the currencies can almost buy the same thing in their country. Okay? 
what one dollar can buy in India in terms of rupees same what one dollar can buy in USA if bananas are one dollar a dozen in USA also agar USA mein bhi banana ek dollar ka hota ek darjan to us case mein real nominal exchange rate same hota but kyunki prices mein difference hai because there is a difference between the prices the problem exists and that is why we have to calculate real exchange rate in which we have to accommodate the price differences between different countries so essentially when we are talking about real exchange rate what are we looking at so when we say we have appreciation in real exchange rate we mean by sending same products we can get more foreign products jitni vastuye aur sevaye hum bech rahe the pehle utni hi agar hum ab bhi beche to uske badle mein uske evaj mein hame adhik bahar se mil sakta hai if we are going to provide the same amount of goods and services to the other countries we get more of their products this is what appreciation in real exchange rate essentially means then what is the meaning of appreciation in nominal exchange rate nominal exchange rate mein appreciation kya hai in nominal exchange rate it simply means rupee improves against dollar it simply means that that the value of rupee has improved against dollar it doesn't tell us anything else but when we say rupee i mean real exchange rate then it means we can get more products we can get more imports against the same number of exports that is what we understand that is what we mean by appreciation in real exchange rate and what is depreciation then depreciation is opposite if there is depreciation in real exchange rate it means we will get lesser products now from abroad against each of our product but in nominal exchange rate it simply means we will get less dollars so i hope you get the idea between the nominal and the real exchange rate this is very important to understand n e e r and r e e r okay now i hope real nominal is clear to you what products we can get in exchange of our products or what services we can get in exchange of our services if we want to analyze that for that we need real exchange rate and currency to currency is simply bilateral since trade is always currency terms through currency we in the real life in the practical day to day life always use nominal exchange rate okay so that is the idea so i hope real nominal is clear now what is effective so i used two words that exchange rate when we use they are always nominal as well as bilateral exchange rate is always expressed in terms of other currency but what if we want to see the overall performance we want to see how indian rupee is performing overall not just against dollar not just against pound we want to see the overall performance of rupee what we have to do the answer is simple you just have to take a average of all the currencies if we take average of all the exchange rate we get the nwer nominal effective exchange rate weighted average of nominal exchange rate all day to day exchange rate that we use if you take a weighted average what is the weighted average that you assign certain weights the currency in which you trade more will be assigned more weightage the currency in which you trade less will be given less weightage so in that sense we will take the average and then we get the effective exchange rate and eer means nominal average of the nominal rate so i hope n e r is clear to you it is a very basic concept instead of your regular exchange rate you look at the average exchange rate against multiple currencies so this is the entire idea of neer now for example we can argue that after 2022 the rupee has fallen against dollar in 2022 august the rupee was almost 75 per dollar okay rupee 75 per dollar but today's value could be close to 
और 83 ओके एट्टी थ्री टू एट्टी पर डॉलर मीन्स रुपी हैज फॉलन बाय ऑलमोस्ट 12 13 परसेंट और 13 14 परसेंट इन द सेम पीरियड इन दिस पीरियड सो वी कैन सी दैट द रुपी हैज फॉलन अगेंस्ट डॉलर बट इफ वी हैव if we have to discuss what is the overall performance of rupee for that we have to see how much rupee fell against euro for that we have to see how much rupee fell against pound for that we have to see how much rupee fell against ruble against dinar dirham etc so take overall average you take yuan yen and then we see that the rupee simultaneously has improved matlab rupiya jahan dollar ke samne gir raha hai उसी समय वो बाकी करेंसीज के सामने मजबूत हो रहा है द रीजन बींग दैट अदर करेंसीज फेल मोर अगेंस्ट डॉलर डॉलर के सामने सभी करेंसीज में डिक्लाइन आया एवरी करेंसी फेल अगेंस्ट डॉलर एक्सेप्ट वन और टू एंड दो करेंसीज फेल मोर देन द इंडियन करेंसी हेंस इंडियन करेंसी सैमल्टेनियसली इंप्रूव अगेंस्ट पाउंड इट इंप्रूव अगेंस्ट यूरो इट इंप्रूव अगेंस्ट नंबर ऑफ अदर करेंसीज इन द सेम पीरियड and that is why our nominal exchange rate is almost same there is very small difference for example against dollar the fall is 13% 14% okay this is the change but overall performance if when we want to see for the rupee we let us say take 40 top currencies in which we trade then the overall fall would be 2 to 3% and that is also because we have very strong weightage of dollar otherwise against other currencies we have improved in the same period so this is what we mean by effective exchange rate okay now what is real effective exchange rate so we discussed that there is a real exchange rate which we have to calculate by a complex mechanism okay we have to consider product to product valuation we have to bring in purchasing power parity we have to do a lot of calculation and mathematics for that and then we calculate the real exchange rate if instead of nominal exchange rate we take weighted average of real exchange rate that becomes r e e r real effective exchange rate so it's very easy both n e e r and r e e r are effective exchange rate when we say neer we are talking about the average of nominal and when we say reer we are talking about average of real however there is one more point that in order to calculate reer you can simply use neer itself okay reer is equal to neer multiply by the relative inflation gap so we take inflation or the cpi in india and we compare it with cpi in other country so if we take the comparative cpi if we compare the inflation in both the countries uh, of whom we are looking at to the exchange rate then we get the reer so in order to calculate reer we have to look at relative inflation and rest of the formula is same as neer so we will do one more video on this topic and in that we cover r a e r n e e r in more detail with formula and with questions and with impact analysis in this particular video i just wanted to explain the concept okay so we'll do one more video on digital board and also a request to all my students kindly comment on the videos you like the video that is a good thing but please also drop comments on the video that improves the videos reach that improves the video score in the googles or youtube's rating and makes my voice reach out to more number of students and also if you can do your bit if you like the content please share it in your social media groups please spread the word it's a very small channel it's a humble beginning and it can only grow up with your support so with that i would like to end this video thank you